In 2005, Olivia Newton-John's boyfriend Patrick McDermott vanished without a trace. Reports say that he was on a charter fishing boat off the coast of California at the time of his disappearance. His body was never recovered. Authorities and search parties jumped into action immediately, but all these years later, the loved ones of the missing man seemed to have only rumors to cling to. Patrick McDermott made a living as a Hollywood cameraman. In addition to Newton-John, McDermott left behind an ex-wife and two children, all of whom have endured his inexplicable disappearance to the best of their ability. And as you can imagine, it's an incredibly hard thing to go through. And there are questions surrounding Patrick McDermott's disappearance that have led some to believe that he had big incentives to disappear and start over. Some sources have alleged that McDermott was undergoing relatively significant financial strain at the time that he vanished, owing $11,000 in child support back pay to Yvette Napar, the mother of his children. He also filed for bankruptcy shortly before the incident. It isn't out of the realm of possibility, investigators agree, that he could have faked his own death in an effort to avoid paying his outstanding debts. Fellow fishermen aboard the vessel say they observed McDermott paying his food bill just 30 minutes before they had arrived at their final destination. He reportedly left his passport and personal effects on board before disappearing. Several others claim to have encountered the missing 48-year-old in Mexico numerous times since his puzzling disappearance in 2005. Statements from the persons in question assert that he was, and is, living south of the U.S. border with an unidentified blonde woman presumed to be his girlfriend. But these are only theories, and no sightings have ever been publicly confirmed. And nobody really knows what happened. Patrick McDermott's disappearance takes on a whole new dimension when seen through the lens of he and Olivia Newton-John's relationship. While we have some scattered factual details about their relationship, much of what we can glean falls under the umbrella of speculation and should be taken with a grain of salt. At the time McDermott vanished, he and Newton-John had actually stopped seeing each other. They'd been together for a total of nine years, but in an on-again, off-again capacity rather than a dedicated, ongoing relationship. Shortly before McDermott vanished, he and Newton-John had officially broken up. This doesn't mean that Newton-John wasn't racked by grief and confusion as reported by Now to Love, but it does perhaps lend credence to the idea that McDermott more or less gave up on life and booked it to Mexico to start over. In the aftermath of McDermott's disappearance, both Olivia Newton-John and McDermott's ex-wife, actress Yvette Napar, reportedly bonded over the incident. Neither one appears to hold any ill will against McDermott, and Napar, in fact, seems fully convinced that her ex-husband is dead. Newton-John and Napar were forced to endure further renewed grief in 2009, following an investigational Dateline special that reported an alleged 20-plus sight of McDermott in Mexico and Central America. One private investigator in particular, Philip Klein, drew Napar's ire. As Celebrity 9 reports, Napar had some choice words for Klein, calling him a serial liar who is, quote, simply looking to be famous at the expense of an unfortunate tragedy in our lives. For his part, Klein went so far as to state that he was informed by a credible representative that McDermott was not only alive, but directly requested to be left alone. Napar is currently writing a memoir about the entire McDermott disappearance incident, as her personal website says. The memoir memoir is titled What Are the Chances, which is a spin on the name of her and McDermott's adult son, Chance. 